Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this easy and delicious Indian style butter paneer pizza with homemade whole wheat pizza dough. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, go and hit the subscribe button right now that way you don't miss on upcoming videos. Let's get started. To start, I'm adding one cup of warm water in a large bowl. To this, I'm adding two tablespoons honey. If you don't prefer to add honey, you can add sugar as well. Go ahead and combine them until it's until the honey or the sugar is completely dissolved in the water. To this, I'm going to add 2 and 1 quarter of a teaspoon active yeast. If you're using an instant yeast, then you can skip the step resting for 15 minutes. Since I'm using an active yeast, I'm going to rest it for 15 minutes until it doubles in size. Something like this. And to this, I'm adding 2 and 1 third of a cup whole wheat flour. This is not a white whole wheat flour, it's a regular whole wheat flour. 1 teaspoon salt to this and go ahead and combine just gently to bring the dough and water together. To this I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Now bring, mix the dough together until it's nicely combined and the dough is formed. It will be a little sticky. Now I'm adding 1 teaspoon of olive oil just to prevent from sticking when it is doubled in size. Just Put it on the sides and apply on the sides on the top of the dough and cover it and rest it for at least two hours or until it doubles in size. Once you see it's doubled in size, just push down the air and now I'm going to just sprinkle some wheat flour on the flat surface and transfer the dough into the flat surface. Flatten it up a little bit and fold it and then cut it into two parts. If you want to make one large pizza thick crust, then you can use the whole dough. But if you want to make thin crust, then you can cut it into two parts and make it into a thin crust pizza. Now I'm going to make it an, at around 12 inch pizza and once you roll it down, transfer it into a baking tray or a pizza stone if you have one and just shape it down. Before adding sauce, I'm going to add one teaspoon olive oil. This makes the crust beautiful and brown color. So what I'm going to do is spread the oil around evenly. After this, I'm going to add the paneer butter sauce. Instead of a regular sauce, tomato sauce, we would add the sauce of the gravy and spread it evenly. So it is going to be like the base for the pizza and add the paneer cubes evenly. Again, when you add paneer cubes and the sauce together, it's kind of hard to evenly spread. So that's why I'm adding the sauce first and then paneer later. Cilantro on top, just as needed. If you don't like cilantro, skip it completely. Mozzarella grated as needed. And after this, you can add some more paneer cubes on top and some red chili flakes or some kind of dry herbs if you prefer. I have put the link for butter paneer masala in my description box below. You can check it out. It's super easy and super simple to make. Now my oven is preheating at 400 degree. I'm going to bake this pizza at 400 for 12 to 14 minutes because it's a thin crust. If you're making a thick crust pizza, then you want to bake it around 16 minutes depending on your oven temperature. Once it comes out of the oven, when it's still is hot, add some more cilantro if you prefer and some red chili flakes and it is ready to be served. It's super easy. The dough is the best dough you can ever make. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care guys. Bye. 